Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dominic from Macrea and today we will have a look at Decentraland and how decentralized Decentraland really is. So let's dive right into it. For you guys, if you don't know Decentraland, it's an online game um, where you can create, explore and trade um, virtual assets and the whole world is owned by the users. So if you go on decentraland.org, you will find the whole overview of this project. And yeah, if you can play as a guest here, so if you go to decentraland.org, in the top right, you can uh, start exploring the world and join as a guest, for example. And here you have an avatar, you can choose your own, and there you can uh, run through the world. And the whole idea behind it is that you have a map here that is, um, yeah, that is separated or, or divided into pixels. And every user who wants to, to own land can buy a pixel. Or if you want to, to own more land, you can own a whole um, yeah, collection of pixels. It's called a state. And yeah, you can buy them on uh, OpenSea, for example, as an NFT. And then you own this land and then you can um, yeah, create your own objects in that particular place on this map. So you can browse through the map here and we can have a look at uh, OpenSea. So it's Decentraland this collection here. And there you have all the NFTs um, in this particular type here. You can own land, for example. Land is only, as I said, one pixel uh, on this map. So it's uh, this pixel here shown. And then you can uh, bid for this particular NFT or you can pay um, by mana, by uh, yeah, wrapped Ethereum or Ethereum itself. And then you, you own this land inside of Decentraland. As I said, you can also buy a yeah, collection of pixels here. So it's an estate, it's a collection here, a collection here. So it's really like buying land in the real life, but uh, virtually inside of Decentraland. So this is the whole game and you can, um, for example, travel to a specific pixel on this map so I have to wait here a few more seconds. And what's quite cool is you have big houses, for example, um, you can interact with uh, certain objects in this world. You also have the ability to, to buy NFTs over it or to join Discord servers or, um, yeah, talk to other people and yeah it's, it's a quite nice um, online game it reminds me a little bit of uh, minecraft but yeah better graphics as well and yeah this is the the ui you see and now we will go behind the scenes so we go to github and have a look on how decentraland works decentral land so for example this one here so this is their account with all the repositories here and to show you how decentral decentraland is you have to know that decentraland is running on ethereum so um, their smart contracts are written in solidity and the easiest way to find out which type uh, or which part of the game is really um, decentralized you have to search for the solidity language here and there we have four repositories so the first repository we will have to look into it is the mana token so it's the token of the project um, you can buy it on um, you know, certain exchanges and with mana you are able to buy you know, some some art stuff or some uh, yeah, nfts inside Decentraland to, to upgrade your avatar or um, yeah, buy NFTs from, from other projects as well. And the MAN token is yeah, their payment method um, 
inside the Decentraland. And if we have a look inside the contract itself, the Mana token is really simple. Uh, it's a burnable, possible, mintable token. So um, they're using the Open Zeppelin um, library as well as uh, in the last videos. We we used the Open Zeppelin um, library to create our own uh, ERC20 and ERC721 token. And they're only defining the symbol, the name, the set decimals, and the burn function that can be called to yeah, burn tokens in their specific value. And yeah, that's basically it. So we will go back here and check out the other repositories. So for example, the land repository, it's a token um, which describes uh, the ownership of the land, so only one pixel. So if we go here, we see it's decentralized. Land is the name, the symbol is land, a short description here. And this is an NFT where you are able to, to trade your land, um, to buy your land, to sell your land, um, yeah, to transfer land from one owner to another. This is all described here. And as I said earlier, uh, there's not only land, there's uh, a state as well. So it's a whole collection of pixels. And this NFT can be uh, you know, defi uh, is defined here with all the mappings. Uh, this is the storage. Here's the registry, sorry. Over here, and as you see here, it's an uh, ERC721 token, so a default NFT. And uh, yeah, with modifiers defined uh, and special functions defined to get, um, yeah, to get their needs um, done. For example, um, yeah, to set a land registry, or to get the metadata of a specific land. So um, the metadata includes all the, the, the yeah, buildings you build uh, on your estate or on your pixel. So um, everything you, you put on there will be saved in metadata. And this is the point where we um, end up being on the decentralized side because the metadata is stored centralized on, on their servers. And everything you saw earlier, so here inside this world, uh, is not really decentralized because the whole application itself is built in Unity. And you open up the browser, play.decentralized.org, and everything you see is a, a web-based Unity game for, in this case. So only the, the properties you own there are you know, saved on the blockchain uh, as NFTs, but everything else is centralized. So yeah, the name of them is quite confusing because yeah, it describes that maybe everything is decentralized, what you see, but yeah, it's only the land, the state you own, or um, yeah, the assets you own inside the game. So you can check out everything um, what I did here. The links are in the description below. And if we go on one token here, we see the contract address. So there's quite a lot of traffic here. And the Astra, uh, estate token here um, is held by a few people. And we also can uh, look inside the contract here. So let's go to the contract, to contract here. And there we see all the um, code we saw earlier. We can jump to the Oh, it's a proxy here. We can also go to, do, 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 do. example, the mana token. It's quite simpler to read. So this is the mana token. Go to contract. And there you can see, if we jump to the mana token itself, this is the same code we saw earlier in the repository. So it's a quite simple code. Defining symbol, name, decimals, and the burn function. And yeah, that's everything what's decentralized. And the rest is completely centralized, stored on their servers, running on their servers. So yeah, in an extreme case, for example, if their server is going down, um, 
yeah, you may own nothing because uh, even the image that is loaded here is uh, stored on their servers. So, um, yeah, maybe for you guys it's quite uh, yeah, interesting to know that yeah, Decentraland is not completely decentralized, but only the assets you, you own there. But um, yeah, I just want to let you know that. Um, let me know what you do, what do you think about it uh, in the comments below. And yeah, if you like this project review, let me know it as well in the comments below. And yeah, this was everything from my side today. I wish you a happy week and see you next time. Bye bye.